Hey everybody, welcome to the lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to keep building upon our game and uh, we are going to add a enemy health bar system. So currently our game uh, is in the state where we have our spinning weapons, we have spawning enemies. Uh, I added an extra dagger to my weapon so we can have two kind of spinning around. Uh, but today I want to add a health system for our player so when we're actually getting hit and when our player eventually dies we'll be able to uh, keep track of that. So let's kind of get started on that system. So before we get into that, I just want to give you a quick little update of how I'm dealing with my player health. It might be a little different than I showed you in class originally, but I tweaked the script a little bit and made a few changes. So if we have a look at my script here, uh, here is our player controller script. And what I've done in my player controller script, I've created two variables here. I've created a, uh, a variable here, a public int for total health, and I've just made it equal to 100 at the start. And I created another integer called current health. This is the health your player currently has. And then when our script starts, we make our current health equal to our total health. And then I just have a very simple if statement here that if our current health becomes less than one, we're taking our game object and we're turning it to false. Now you could do destroy game object or whatever you prefer, uh, but I feel this is a kind of a simple way to do that. And then here in our enemy controller script, uh, I have an on collision enter 2D. And if the collision is tagged player, we're finding object of type, the object that has the player controller script. We're getting the current health integer variable from that script and we are minusing the damage amount. And damage amount is just another variable that I put up here. And the reason why I did that is so you could have, you know, enemies do different damage to the player. So, or, you know, your little zombie might do more damage than the skeleton, for example, or however you're building out your game. Excellent. So let's go back into our game now and let's start by adding our health bar system. We're going to do this by using a UI. So I'm going to click on my player here. And right now on my player, I have my weapon system that we went over last week's class. But I'm going to go to my player here. I'm going to right click and we're going to add a UI element. And we're going to add a canvas to control all of our UI portions. So I'm going to click on canvas and uh, I'm just going to call this, I don't know, we'll call it uh, health canvas maybe. You know, something kind of along those lines here. Um, and then on the health canvas, we need to make a few changes. So our canvas system, this is actually our canvas system here. This whole box kind of uh, mimics our screen and it moves along with our player. Um, and it works relatively well this, this way, but we're gonna make a few changes uh, to have it actually follow the player in a different manner. So I'm gonna take my health canvas system and I'm gonna change the render mode to world space. And by changing it to world space, it's actually going to have the canvas uh, inside of our screen, not as a separate entity, okay? And uh, a few things we need to change for that so it doesn't get too big. We're gonna make our uh, sizing uh, 0 0.01 on all three of the sizing axes here. Excellent. And uh, we're gonna put the position at zero and zero. And this will make a little bit more sense once we start uh, adding our graphical elements to this. And you can already see our canvas is actually considerably smaller now. It's not zoomed out super large like it was before. Perfect. Now the next thing we're going to do to our health canvas game object that we just added, we're going to right click, go to UI, and we're going to add a slider bar. So I'm going to add a slider bar here. And we will just call this, uh, I don't know, this might as well just call it health slider. Perfect. Now our health slider here, you can see it's sitting on top of our player. So let's just take our health slider and kind of move it up so it sits on top of our player game object. And now if we actually go to play our game, what you're gonna see is the slider because we changed our uh, canvas around. It's just gonna fall around our player kind of like that. Um, you know, you can adjust the slider. We're gonna talk about how to do this through code, but that is kind of where we're at right now with our system. Perfect. Okay, so now with our health slider, we're gonna make a few changes to here. First of all, let's open it up and we actually want to get rid of this slide area, which gets rid of um, that uh, little uh, large circle there. We don't really we don't really need that. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is let's go back to our health slider. Let's put the value all the way to the top to kind of fill it up. And you'll notice as I'm dragging the slider bar up, it doesn't fill up all the way. We have this little gap here, and when I put it down to zero. Uh, it doesn't actually quite fill down all the way. So we're gonna need to make a few changes to this in order to uh, have it so when the value is set to you know 100%, the health bar looks full. Because right now our health bar would always look like it's a little bit empty. So we're gonna wanna change a few things around. 
Okay, I'm also going to turn off the interactable button so that way you can't have your player actually sliding the health bar manually while in their game because that would kind of defeat the whole purpose. Uh, so we're going to uh, make it so that uh, it is not interactable by the player. It's only going to be interactable through code. Perfect. Okay, so let's get rid of some, uh, some uh, aspects here. Okay, so for the background here, we're going to get rid of our source image by clicking delete on it. And on the fill area, we're also going to get fill of our source image for the fill bar there. Okay, so looking a little bit better, uh, but we're still in a situation here where we can't actually see anything now as I'm going up and down with that. So let's uh, make some changes here. So with my background, let's change the background color to kind of like a black. Okay, and this is going to be the uh, what we're going to see when things get empty. So as you can see now, as we adjust the value, you're going to see it's going to kind of go up and down. But once again, it's not going all the way in either direction. So we're going to still need to fix that. Okay, and then for our fill color, let's make that a nice red. Okay, so now we've got kind of a health bar look here. It's going to slide up and down as our player gets hit. But now let's make the adjustment so it actually looks like it's full or it looks like it's empty completely. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to change... Uh, the, the position and some of the sizing of these elements. Okay, so let's go to our background and we're going to tell it to, we're going to take this bottom option right here. So if we click on these custom sizing here, we're going to set it down to the bottom there and then we're going to make sure all of these are set to zero. Okay, now bear with me on that. And then we're going to go to our fill area and we're going to do the same. We're going to set all of these to zero. Okay, make sure our fill set to the same as well and now as you can see when the bar goes up and down it looks like it's 100 percent full it looks like it's 100 percent empty awesome so pretty happy about that looking a lot better perfect okay so now that we've set up our slider it's the right size you know we can go around and we can actually adjust it. it's raised up a little bit more so it's above our little character sword um Pretty happy with that it's looking good so now the next step we're going to do is we need to be able to control this slider right here and particularly we want to be able to control this value aspect of the slider with code and remember this is just a graphical element our player's health is actually controlled through the script completely we just want the slider to represent the current health value that the player is at so let's go into our player controller script and let's work on this so the first thing we need to do is we need to add some elements to our player controller script so they can actually access the UI element. So we do that by adding a new library at the top. So we're going to say using Unity Engine as we did before, but this time we're going to type .ui. And now we can access our UI elements. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a public and we're going to add a slider function. And let's just call it health slider. Okay. And what that's going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to access that slider uh, through our code now when we use the health slider variable name there. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our health slider kind of here at the, at the, at the start. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say health slider dot max value. This is going to set the maximum value that our slider can have. And that's going to be equal to our total health. Okay, so it's going to set our max value to whatever our total health is. And remember, our total health uh, is being grabbed from our current health there. Okay, and then we're going to say our health slider dot value. This is the current value is that it's going to be at. And that's going to be set to our current health. So the maximum value can go to is our total health. And then the value that it'll be starting at is whatever our current health is. Now you're going to want that just in case you're changing levels and maintaining health values so you're not resetting to zero every time, but you can play around with those numbers as you see fit. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to be constantly updating our health sliders value to whatever our current health is actively. And our current health, we can monitor it actively right here in our update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my health slider dot value and I'm just going to make that equal to our current health. And it's going to just check that, you know, every frame. And that's it. That's all we really have to do in our code. It is that simple. So let's go back to Unity now with the scripts compile. 
just go a little bit slower than normal. And then we're gonna have to click on the player to end, see the new features that we kind of put here in our player controller script, okay? So our total health is 100. Our current health is gonna be equal to our total health at the start of the script. But now you can see we have a section here for our health slider. So I'm gonna take my health slider and I'm gonna drag it down, okay? Now our code is gonna be able to access the slider component. And let's see if it works. So I'm gonna hit play. My little health bar there. You'll notice my current health is kind of located at 100 down there. Let's see, oh look, my health went down. Awesome, it's gonna go down a little bit more. But my health is going down now. You can see my current health is set to 80 and it is being reflected in my slider. Oh, I noticed my health bar is actually going behind my monster spawner. I wanna fix that, but let's just see if our death kind of works here. Oh, my spinning daggers are too strong, but it does mark my player as inactive. As you can see, my player is still inside the game. It's just been marked inactive. Uh, so let's actually go back to our health canvas and uh, let's change our order and layer to five. And our health bar should now appear over top of our enemy spawner. So it's always kind of sitting on the top. Perfect. Well, that's exactly what we want. All right, well, that's looking really good. So it looks like our health system is working. Uh, everything is playing fine. Let's just turn off our weapons here. Um, and it's updating frequently. And this is a really good, simple way to put a health bar system into your game. Remember, this just is a graphical element, but now you can use this health system for the enemies, for any type of element that you want. Perfect. Well, thanks for watching, and we will see you all later.